Hello friends, in this video we will see another problem based on all plus sum gives no conclusion rule. All plus sum gives no conclusion rule. Okay, so all plus sum will give no conclusion. Okay, so let us take first syllogism statement. So that is all bats are all bats are balls and the second syllogism statement is some balls are nets some balls are nets and the first conclusion given is some bats are some bats are nets some bats are nets and the second conclusion given is all nets are all nets are bats all nets are bats okay so if the conclusion one is alone true we have to select the option a if conclusion b alone true we have to select the option b if conclusion one or conclusion two is true Okay, either this one or this one is true, then we have to select the option C. So, neither conclusion 1 nor conclusion 2 is true. So, that means we have to select the option D. That means both the statements are not true. And E, we have to select if both the statements are true. Right? So, from here, if you see, first one is started with all and the second one is started with sum. So, all plus sum will give no conclusion. When? The sub predicate of the first statement and the subject of the second statement are equal. So here is also ball, here is also ball. So all plus sum and the predicate of the first statement and the subject of the second statement are equal. So that means from this one we cannot conclude anything. So that's why we will give no conclusions we can derive from here. So if there are no conclusions we can we can derive so then there is a no way to check the given conclusions are true or false if no conclusion we can derive that means actually here two conclusions are there obviously they are going to be false only because we cannot conclude anything from this one so that means actually given both the conclusions are going to be false given both the conclusions are going to be false so directly we can select directly we can select option D. So directly we can select option D which states that neither statement 1 or neither I mean neither the first conclusion or the, nor the second conclusion is true. So that means we have to select the option D. So whenever you see all in the first syllogism and some in the second syllogism so directly you can select D because we cannot derive anything and we cannot conclusion anything from the given to syllogism. So, I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel.